Good afternoon from the Bush's Visitor Center. We're going across the street here to the original Bush family house. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Ryan. And I'm Bree. And we have our son, Micah. So we're gonna bring you inside and show you what the house is like decorated for Christmas. So without further ado, let, let the, the adventure, adventure begin. begin. So we're here at the Bush's Visitor Center where you can eat at this great little cafe. You got a free museum. And across the street, you would find the actual plant where they're producing Bush's beans. And right in front of that, across the street, you'll find this little white house, which is the actual house where A.J. Bush began Bush's beans. We're actually gonna go inside and tour that house. It's not open to the public, but it does open for about four days, two weeks into December every year, and they decorate it for Christmas. We're gonna go inside and give you guys a tour of what it's like. The house is decorated for Christmas. You can see this front porch. Got some Christmas decor. Lots of nice little rockers you can enjoy. And a Bush's Best mat here at the front. But let's meet Scott, and he's gonna give us a little tour of the place. So here we are today at the Bush, Bush's family house. Oh, yeah, yeah, so it? this is, uh, it, it is the original uh, home of AJ and Sally Bush. Okay. Um, you know, the, the company uh, got its start back in 1908 uh, and the house dates back to 1909 okay so over the years this was almost a community center at times from the stories that i've heard uh, and it actually uh, sat right next to the old plant for many many years uh, until we uh, built a new plant and uh, and then restored everything down below and took down the old plant in here this actually, back in the day, from my understanding, um, the uh, AJ and Sally at different times had both their mothers living here in the house. Okay. And so, actually, one stayed in this room here. And the, the house, uh, back in the early uh, 2000s, um, we decided uh, to refurbish and update. And so at that time, everything was, was stripped down, new foundation underneath the house. And you'll notice as we go through that there's bathrooms in every bedroom now. That wasn't the original, no. was it? <laughs> yeah. I'd say uh, it, there's some family stories that have been passed uh, about when uh, some of the uh, third generation that actually there was uh, there wasn't indoor plumbing and we'll let everybody figure it out sure, from there. Sure, sure. <laughs> Various family members uh, have lived here. There's been uh, uh, different folks from the the plant that has w lived here. Really? Um, it's uh, it's been used for a number of different things throughout the years. Okay. So this is just a, a history book that we put together that. Uh, tells more about the home and actually the uh, renovations that the home has went through. You can see here, even in some of the pictures, how we have, uh, how the home had been taken down to the bare studs and refurbished from basically the inside out. Quite a history here. It is. And they were here until they passed, right? They were, and they passed back in 1946. Okay. So what's in this room So here? this is just the uh, where the family would have stayed back years ago. This would have been the living room. Okay. 
So. so the fireplaces, were they all here just updated? Well, you think back then there would have been fireplaces throughout the house because uh, that would have been the main source of heat. Right. And so when we updated, we kept the the fireplaces. Okay. It adds a nice aviance to it. Yeah. Are there any original pieces of furniture? There are a couple pieces of original furniture. So this old chair would have been one of the original pieces we've had. Okay. Um, and I'll, I'll try and point out others as we go through. Who are all the uh, pictures on the wall in here? So this here is actually the second generation. Um, so this would have been the sons and son-in-laws of A.J. Bush. And then on the other wall here is actually the uh, second generation. It would have been the daughters and daughter-in-laws of AJ and Sally Bush. We are actually in our third, fourth, and fifth generation okay. of, of family owners. Okay. Wow. And that is one of the things we are uh, still today, a, a, a family-owned company, which is very refreshing. Well, we'll go on back here to the dining room that's all decorated for Christmas. As you can see, the stairwell here. That It's beautiful. And the only time of year that people can come in is a couple days around <clears throat> Christmas, right? Yeah, we, uh, we open up for a, a week during Christmas. Um, the house is used... Um, throughout the year for visitors that come to do work at the plant or have to have to stay uh, and just it's it's very convenient to be able to allow people to do that so and i heard that there's one special guest that stays here Absolutely. when he visits and that would be that'd be the man himself duke yeah <laughs> 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 no, it, so yes, Duke uh, Duke stays here regularly when he comes into town. Okay, very good. So, How often does he visit? It just varies. Uh, it depends on if he's if he's got to do some business in in the area or not. And now that we're uh, sponsoring the uh, SCC or the, we're the uh, beans of the SCC, he's in more often. And if people wanted to know. Uh, when they could maybe see or meet Duke, how would they do that? Uh, just watch our, our social media. And you'll give some it'll, kind of warning. It'll be announced. Okay, yeah. very good. Well, this so, is beautiful. I wish, and I'm, I'm sure other people are thinking the same thing, I, I wish my my dining room table yes. looked like this at times. <laughs> So, All uh, right, Micah, you're in charge of decorating the table for Christmas. This should give you some inspiration, okay? <laughs> and, I, and I'll tell you, this, this area is one of my favorite spots in the whole house. Okay, why is that? Well, it's on the outside. Mm. So how often do you see a home nowadays that has dual porches off the dining room? Yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm kind of that uh, enjoy sitting outside. And so if you got up in the morning and you wanted to have morning sun or morning shade, mm -hmm. you could choose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's personally, I think it's one of my favorite features of the home. You can that. enjoy the outside inside. Exactly. Yep. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And then we've got the kitchen and the... I guess you'd call that a butler's pantry. Okay. And I love the cabinets. Yeah. Uh, when they restored them, and it just really sets the kitchen off. Are those original cabinets? They are not. They are not. Okay. Mm -hmm. But they 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 look are beautiful and they fit exactly, well. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then our Christmas decorations. I love a fireplace in the kitchen. That's like. You have arrived when you have a <laughs> fireplace in your kitchen. <laughs> well, it, it, it really, I mean, the fireplace just, it brings back memories for me as, as a kid growing up. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. Just that cozy feeling. So Exactly. And I'll tell you, all the decorations were done by um, some local folks. Uh, Flowers by Wilma, they, uh, they're up in Newport and they do a phenomenal job. They really bring the Christmas cheer, I guess we could say. Yes. All right, it's beautiful. I told them I could live here. <laughs> I, I'm right there with you. Yeah. You, you would never guess it was a hundred year old home, you know, mm, or no. over a hundred years, I guess. Exactly. Is it has everything just feels new and fresh and yeah. well we'll go on upstairs here 
if you're enjoying this tour, do us a huge favor, hit that subscribe button down below. We'd love to have you join us on our future adventures. All right, let's check out the upstairs. Now this would have been the bedrooms years ago and up here now we've, we've just got the three bedrooms. Uh, each one has, uh, again, its own bathroom. This would have been uh, our third generation, one of our third generation family members. He actually has shared childhood stories of growing up here and uh, that was his bedroom I, and he uh, he said he used to actually sit there at the window and just watch the traffic go by as he grew up wow. and the plant like I said was within 50 feet of the house okay we'll say and they could hear the cans going down the line and so at night you know, you get used to that white noise. Sure. I, uh, one, it's over in the uh, museum. One of our family members shared that uh, when you didn't hear the cans, it would wake you up. Right. <laughs> That's uh, funny. And their, uh, her father at that time would actually get up and go to check and see what might have been wrong and see how he could help to fix it. And, right, right said many of nights he'd be over there working on things wow and then come and grab breakfast before he had to go to his other job right right wow how interesting so, <laughs> what we get used to right? exactly <laughs> i couldn't imagine i mean you get used to that background noise and then it stops and it what's going on something's up. wrong yeah exactly <laughs> So with adding on the bathrooms, like what would this have been before? Just a closet? It would have been or? between closets and, mm -hmm. and probably an extra room. Okay. And this was generally the style of the house back then. All the bedrooms upstairs, living areas downstairs, mm -hmm. and yep. bathroom out back, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the outhouse. And he could see his store as well, right? Because yeah. it was always right there. And that's one of the things. AJ... AJ's first passion. AJ was actually a uh, a school teacher and a general store owner. Okay. Um, and that was his love. There's a story about um, AJ. He had what he called the shoebox fund. Okay. Um, and so he kept a shoebox in the back of the general store that um, if any child came into the general store that didn't have proper shoes or clothes to be able to go to school, anyone that worked in the general store could go and purchase the shoes or whatever for the, the child so that they could go to school. Wow, that's fantastic. He just really had that strong sense of responsibility um, and true caring for the community. Being that Duke stays here, yeah. do you find any evidence of him trying to sell the secret family recipe? We actually probably have to come in and do a special cleanup okay. after Duke's here. Just, <laughs> you know, he's always trying to sell the recipe. Yeah, <laughs> make sure you never know what he's up you to. You never do. <laughs> we, uh, we keep a close eye on him when okay. he's around. Good, good. <laughs> <laughs> you can check out the decor. I love the wallpaper everywhere. It's just... Isn't it beautiful? Beautiful, yeah. They really did an amazing job. I, I mean, personally, I would love to have this house to live in. It's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. Okay, one more bathroom, bedroom. I yep, think. so this is the third bedroom. This is what I would assume that would have been uh, AJ and Sally's room years ago okay. uh, this is what we would consider the the master okay almost every room every has a almost every room's right. got a fireplace yeah. Yeah. yeah that's amazing so it's a nice a very nice feature of the house so looking out these windows where was the original factory well if you look out these windows the original factory would have sat right on the other side of that fence. It has actually been restored when we made the transition to uh, Condon's plant, the new plant. The colors, like you said, the wallpaper throughout. Yeah, yeah. It's the little details that make the difference. It, it is, yeah. yeah. We, uh, we say that with our beans as well. Yes, that's all we buy is butcher's beans. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. 
I know when I open it, it's going to be a quality can of beans. Exactly. Well, we, we, we pay attention to the details. Yes. <laughs> Michael, what do you think, bud? Do you like the house? Mm -hmm. Do yeah. you? So what was this room originally? So I've heard over the years that, uh, you know, this study, but also at times uh, might have been used as a bedroom as well. And you've got the beans, of course. Absolutely. <laughs> and I don't know if, uh, if many people know this or not, but we're actually highlighting one of our newest uh, beans. It hasn't even hit the market yet. And so this is uh, our zero sugar added beans, um, which for anybody that's got a dietary restraint or mm -hmm, something, mm -hmm. um, we'd heard heard that message from our consumers over okay. the years. And so we finally, mm -hmm. we've got something that hopefully they enjoy and they will work for any dietary need. Absolutely. Also here you can see all the old labels. Bush's got their start many years ago in uh, tomatoes. Okay. That was where the uh, first products that uh, were canned, 19, 19, 19, 18, something in there, I believe it was. Uh, we tried our hand at, uh, at blackberries and then learned a lot from that and progressed. And throughout the years, we've had everything from spaghetti, beans, uh, all different vegetables and fruits, and even at one time, Tony dog food. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So, Does Duke know about that? <laughs> that's a good question. Maybe a secret we kept from him. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, you probably should. So, but, so blackberries, uh, huh? That, yeah. I did not know that. I, yeah, it's just one of them little uh, things that you you wouldn't know. Mm -hmm. So, But now we're we're focused on beans. Beans. That's your bread and butter. Yeah, yeah. We, we've, you know, we feel that that's a good source of vegetable protein that everybody can enjoy. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about the secret family recipe. Whose recipe was uh, that originally? So that was Condon Bush's mother's recipe. Okay. Um, and so he was actually sent to go to Augusta, Wisconsin to run a plant up there okay and it was a it was a uh, seasonal plant and so when the harvest would come in they would work really hard to put everything up but then it's it set idle for a good part of the year okay. waiting on the fresh pack to be ready to to start again and so he took one winter and he could remember his mama's recipe and he he tried to replicate it. Okay. So imagine this, you've got the large kettles and he had a big paddle at the time mm -hmm. and they spent the winter, him and a couple other fellas trying to replicate his mom's recipe. Okay. And he did. And he finally got and it. And there was the secret family recipe. Wow. And so, um, the rest is, is kind of history. Yep, and we're still enjoying them today. We are, and that's still my favorite. Yes, absolutely mine too. <laughs> <laughs> Can't beat the original recipe. And Duke has not managed to he get it out not. to anyone yet. <laughs> he has not. He, he's tried. He's tried. <laughs> <laughs> but we keep, it, uh, we keep it safe. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much for taking us on this oh, tour. Oh, thank you for you, coming in and yeah. helping other people to see it. Yeah, so. you have wonderful stories that I know people will love to hear. And I enjoyed <laughs> hearing more of the history of bushes. Well, and, thank you. We, en whatnot. we enjoy telling it that... Uh, it's fun to pass on stories. Yeah, absolutely. So thank you again. Thank you. And if you guys have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Um, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that as well. Just to clarify, the house that we just toured is not open to the public, but for a few days in December, typically the middle of December is when we have come here nor is the actual factory. You can't necessarily do a factory tour, but what you can do is you can tour the free museum here, which we have a whole nother video showing you what the museum is like. And you can also come to the Bush's Best Family Cafe, which is what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab some lunch, 
since we are here. It is closed on Sundays and they are open from 11 a.m. until 4 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Let's head inside, try some beans, and show you what we grabbed for lunch. Before we eat, let's thank God for our food real quick. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. Today's sample was that zero sugar added baked beans. I like it, I don't think it's bad, but I do like the classic original better. But this is again, a great option for someone who does have a dietary restriction. So we always enjoy this cafe. The chicken tenders are really good, so we ordered some of those and I got some catfish. So we're gonna have some nice warm lunch before some really cold weather is headed in. Right, Micah? <laughs> wow, look at that. So you get a lot of food for $13.99. The tenders are always made fresh from scratch. Onion rings are good. Everything is really good in this little cafe here. So I got some catfish, some mac and cheese, and some french fries. Oh, and hush puppies. Hush puppies. So we have put all of our sides in the middle because we like to share in this family. <laughs> family style. So you can see some of the specials of today. You can see that bean of the day that we got. We're gonna try of the homemade pies. We're gonna try a pinto bean pie. Let's check out what that's like. So here is the most unique dessert you're gonna find in Chestnut Hill. It's the pinto bean pecan pie. I got that because I want to try that out. I got the apple pie, which comes with a caramel sauce and vanilla ice cream. This is recommended. And Micah got a peanut butter cream pie. It does have peanuts in it. It does have peanuts in it. Not my favorite, <laughs> but Ryan liked it. Yeah. This is your classic peanut butter cream chocolate pie. That's good. But this is what I would order. It's warm apple pie with a warm caramel sauce and the cold vanilla ice cream. That is delicious. Well, that wraps up our tour of the Bush family homestead. I hope you guys have enjoyed joining us, seeing what this home built in 1909 is like today. If you've enjoyed this video, do us a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button down below if you haven't, and consider subscribing so you don't miss out on future videos. We'd love to have you join us. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments. We hope you had a wonderful Christmas and have a happy new year. We'll see you on the next adventure.